Adventures! Hello, Winterwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name is Skinny Mini. You are too damn peppy when we were just started the episode. Calm <laughs> down a little bit. Well, I'm sorry. I haven't recorded in <laughs> God knows how long. Actually, uh, just been a week. I kind of haven't. Well, not for this, I haven't. I'm Pharaoh. Oh. We're not, we're not, we're not going to start arguing when we literally just started the episode. It's fine. And I know yeah. I, I know I started it, so it's like I have no room to speak. But regardless, hi everybody. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, it's been a week since we recorded. So, no, no, since no, we, it's been a no, month since there's. Oh yeah, because we did a backlog of this. Yeah, look, I, I checked the my last save was June twentieth. It is the eighteenth <gasps> right now of July. <laughs> So, wow. yeah, that's good. I like having a backlog. Anyway, you yeah, guys don't even know about that. <laughs> behind the scenes. Oh. Anyway, last episode, um, we went ahead and did some investigating in this, in this, uh, I guess, evidence area, and then turns out that a lot of is here, and now we got to talk to her. Aren't <laughs> you? Want to. Aren't you joyful? No. No. Well, too bad. I, I, I just, I just, it's just. I just don't. No. I, she's not. Is it? You know. Okay. Let's just talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> just let's get it over Stop with. Stop stalling. Ugh. So, why did you come here? For the people of the world and for myself. I'm a social justice photographer, after all. Social justice? Then allow me to guess the reason why you came here. Was it perhaps to expose the illegal evidence trafficking? Oh, I get it. So you were trying to get a scoop on the secret dealings. Uh huh? Y'all know that much already? Well, I reckon there ain't no reason to hide it anymore. My sources tell me there's some kind of black market auction being held around these parts. What did you say? So that. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> so that. <laughs> That's all, that's all that happened. Oh, God. So then, all this evidence here is... Yup. They're the goods for the auction. There's a lot of dirty money flying around here. I wanted to try and catch it with my own two eyes. My source gave me a whole bunch of info, but... I figured just hearing about it ain't enough. Seeing is believing, after all. So I've been sta uh, staking out the place from behind this stack words. <clears throat> so I've been staking out the place from behind this here statue since yesterday. The auction took place late last night and went till the early morning. You know, I just thought of something. Is, te is what we're technically doing cold reading? Yes. Well, for me, because I've never seen this game before. You well, te- Yes. Yes, in a sense, but... It's been forever since so kind of yes for me, too. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, cold, basi yeah, cold reading is like you never you never seen the script, so you're you you just well not necessarily you never seen the script, but you're just seeing the script for the first time and reading it by you know just just reading it. Okay. It's cold reading. All right, I, just, I, just, I don't know why I just popped it in my head. <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm weird. No, no. Don't no, lie. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say don't lie. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> uh. A murder on the night of the black market auction. Could the two events be related? No! Oh, Alright, let's talk to Lada. Black market dealings in the Grand Tower! Yes, I really hit the mother load this time. Were all the items in the auction pieces of evidence? There was some normal stuff too, like stolen art and the like. I wouldn't consider stolen art to be normal. But I reckon the evidence was the star of the show here. These folks are law fanatics, trying to get their hands on the latest goods from the police. So that's why you wanted to get pictures of Miss Hart. Pretty much. They were meeting right under, right under this very storeroom, so I watched them from up here. You said you were here since yesterday. Did you witness the, the entire event? It was a black market auction, after all. They followed a fairly detailed procedure. But first... The participants entered the store from the viewing platform one at a time. When they got in, they each took one of those masks on the wall over there. The funny thing about those masks, they're all equipped with voice changers, itty bitty ones. 
That way they wouldn't be recognized. They wanted to protect their... An anemone? <laughs> oh, you mean their anonymity? Yeah, that's it. An anonymity. <laughs> I swear, she's our spirit animal, apparently. Oh my god. Why not just say no. it? <laughs> what? Not Lana. Oh, oh, well, yeah, it's not for you. Hmm. Why not just say identity and make things easier for all of us? Thank God, I thought they were going to have me say it. I'm like, no. <laughs> As we're putting on the mask, they'd go down the lift. And the next fella would come right in. On the way back, it was the same thing, but in reverse. Person. Great Britain. <laughs> they come up one by one, return the mask, and head up the, out of the store. Wow, that's pretty thorough. Is it? I mean, well, I, I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, kind of. It's a procedure they follow, I guess. I guess anytime I think it worked thorough, I think like, dear God, they went through so much trouble. I, I guess this is, yeah. Hmm. hmm. Well, how many participants were there? Eleven people all together. I counted each one of them as they made their way down. Wow. Okay. Right, Lotta. She can count. <laughs> At least she's good for something. All right, what happened? I'll have you know I wasn't just laid up behind the statue the entire time. Then where were you in the beginning? The beginning? Oh, uh, well, don't you worry yourself about that, you hear? So she was hiding behind the statue the entire time. <laughs> I watched the folks coming in while lurking in from the shadows. All secret agent life. Note to self, secret agents like to lurk in the shadows. And then they use that lift over there to get down the auction site. After after, uh, after they all went down, I watched the whole thing from the lift. Did that lift stay down the entire time? Nah, it came back up. But there's a tiny gap in the floor over there. There's a bit of space between the floor and the lift platform, you see. So I could see just about everything that was going on down there. Then, did you see that person who was conducting the auction? Uh, well, yeah, you betcha I did. But what kind of story would this be if I didn't know who the conductor was? The conductor, huh? It seems I'll need to ask her for more details. Conductor? Oh, okay, let's just the conductor. Let's talk about him. Or her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more information about this so-called conductor? You know, I came here to get me a scoop. What makes you think I'll give up my info all to, all to you willy-nilly? Basically, what you're saying is you don't know. Ah, I see. So that's why she won't answer. What can I say? I couldn't even tell how old they were or if they were a guy or a gal. Can you tell me what the person was wearing at the time? They had on a white jacket with a purple flat. Okay, <laughs> purple flower, and they were wearing white gloves. But you know, that don't mean much when I have no no earthly clue who they really were are. So the conductor's identity was hidden, just like the participants. That's right, they had on a mask and a voice changer, just like everyone else. What kind of mask did this person wear? It was a Zervin mask, I reckon. Z Zervin? What in blaze is that supposed to be? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you don't know about Zervin? He's the sworn enemy of global hero Anya Kopan. Zervin, the ruler of time. Seriously, who hasn't heard of him? Those people, I'd imagine. I feel left out too. I'm like, am I supposed to know? Yeah, I'm like, uh, what? Since the conductor wore a mask, I assume you were not able to see their face. Not even a teeny weeny bit. After all, I came this way for my big scoop. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, that sucks. This whole story's turning out to be nothing but fool's gold. I know who that is! Do you? I do! 
That set of clothes seems familiar. Perhaps I should show her that piece of evidence. Da -da 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 -da. So I need to present for her the autopsy report, I guess, because that's the picture of Homegirl. I would assume Bonnie so. Young? Oh, no, no. What's her name? Jill something, right? Jill, Jill, yeah. Here, look at this. Look at this! Look at this body, damn it! <laughs> you saw the conductor wore a white jacket with a purple flower and what with white gloves? That's right! They sure look spiffy for a criminal mastermind. Miss Hart, do they look anything like this? Hey, that's it! That's the conductor! H hold your her oh, horses. <laughs> hold your horses. Are y'all telling me the conductor is dead? I mean, can't you tell from the picture? I mean... I mean, no, she's just taking a nap and spilled Kool-Aid on her jacket. That's just ragu. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. It was. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I, I didn't even say it. It's ragu. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Sorry, we're getting to the groove of this. Or at least I am, so. Mm -hmm. She's a victim of a case we are, we are investigating. Her name is Jill Crane. Have you heard of her? Can't say I have. She was a lady, huh? What kind of gal dresses like that? She'd get her kicks by fooling me into thinking she's a guy? I doubt that her intention was to deceive you. <laughs> setting, that, uh, setting that aside, we've established something of major importance. The victim was the conductor of the black market auction. I see. So the conductor was killed. Then that might explain... Explain what, Miss Hart? Uh, n n no, 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 it's nothing. Honest. <laughs> Miss Hart, you clearly sounded suspicious just now. And I'm telling you, I ain't! <laughs> Can't. Sorry, were you trying to say something? Uh, no, I ain't! I, I ain't saying nothing! Please don't be like that, just tell us. How many times do I gotta tell you? I'm a journalist! Information is what pays the bills. I can't just go around spouting everything I know. I've already said too much. I got nothing left to say to y'all. Then, what if I found some fingerprints for you? W what good would that do to me? Do, uh, do me. I don't... <laughs> I don't want none of your dusty old prints. Why don't you two follow my example and do some investigating on your own? Oh, guess she won't tell us anything. Not to worry, Emma. Just leave it to me. Are you about to chest a lot of... Ugh. <laughs> I think it sounds like, oh, God, I got a chester. Oh. Yeah, because I don't like her. Hmm. Yeah, this sounds a lot worse than what we're saying it out loud. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I, are you okay? Yeah, hold on. Oh. Good, you ready? Yeah, stuff was falling, so I had to like try to grab it and stuff. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Sorry, where are we? Where, 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 where. Uh, talking. Um, I have okay, a... Did you say this line? Oh, no. no yeah. <clears throat> I have a certain method of drawing that information from those who wish to hide it. If my opponent's lips are sealed, I will be the one to unseal them. Let us begin. Why to make it all Green sound blast. so sexual? Oh, I don't know. Don't do it with Lada Edgeworth. You don't tell me what I do. <laughs> Let me be your first. Sorry, that was really uncalled for. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Please go. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassed. I'm so oh, embarrassed. Oh no, it's fine. That's just, that's what that's what makes perfect quality videos, right? Does it though? Oh, uh, to me. <laughs> First, let's analyze my let's analyze my opponent's <laughs> demeanor. I ain't telling you nothing, so quit wasting my time. She seems rather impatient. 
as if she's trying to cut off the conversation. I must be careful of my time. I won't, I won't have long to consider my responses. Oh, crap. I'm almost certain that she's hiding something from me. So, does that mean when she's impatient, I'm supposed to wait and see or attack? E that's what I'm not sure about. Let's figure it out! Alright. That's where I'll begin my attack. Now, time for the first move. Oh. Alright. Logic chest, let's do this. Uh, let's calm down and talk this over. Don't you think you're overreacting a bit? Let's just calm down. I mean. I'm always calm, now leave me alone! Okay, now that's impatient. So... I don't know if we need to atta attack or... We're running out of time. Oh, god, uh... Uh, you don't look calm to me. Haven't you realized it yet? I have, I have you cornered! What are you yapping about? All you're doing is wasting my time. Oh. Crap, that was it. That was a waste of a mark. It, oh, jeez! Uh, okay. <laughs> is this a good sign or not? I don't think so, but we'll see. Okay. No. Wait, how, how, how much time do you have left on your thing? A lot. Did you die? I died. Uh... Like, that, that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, damn. Oh, oh, I didn't continue after that first part. That's why. Oh! What? All right, I so... Thought, I thought we clicked okay. it all together. Oh, okay. All right, uh, Miss High is getting increasingly impatient. As if she's trying to cut off the conversation. I must be careful with my time. I won't have long to consider my responses. Okay, uh... uh let me just run out of time. And hey. then we'll start over. Oh, I was gonna say, you don't have to, but it's fine. I'm just, I'm, I'm out of time. Oh, crap, I'm, well, I'm already skipping, so... Oh, I've had enough of your waste and shenanigans. You best skedaddle now. Oh, God. Sh shoot, I messed up. Alright, this whatever. I can't give up now. I have to stand my ground. Alright, shut up. Okay. Now, now, let's try this again. There we go. Alright, uh... A terrible start. Alright, uh, let's calm down and talk this over. Okay. Don't you think blah 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 blah? Okay, uh, wait and see. Wait and see? Yeah. Okay, I cut off there. I'm like, crap! Okay. <laughs> A real journalist always keeps her cool. Speaking of journalists, I have something interesting to tell you. A few days ago, I met another self-proclaimed journalist. She spoke with an accent quite similar to your own. She spoke like me? Then maybe it was... Oh, it was her student. We know that, right? I think. Nicole Swift. She had a distinct way of speaking, one very much like your own. But furthermore, she said that she had a mentor. But could she have been referring to you? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, oh, you, so you know Nicole? Uh, well, ain't that a fun little coincidence? Oh, uh, where'd y'all meet? Wait, no, no, stop trying to get me to spill the beans. Whew, that was a close call. It seems that she lets down her guard when she talks about Miss Swift. Oh. This could be a useful clue. Uh, let's come down and talk this over. Oh, crap. What'd you pick? <laughs> the first one. Damn it. Sorry. Okay, uh, Just do what you gotta do. I've run this line of questioning to its conclusion. Let's try another line of attack. Oh, thank God. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Give me the information. <laughs> 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 I want you to tell me everything that you know right now. No way, Jose. I ain't spilling my guts to someone I have no connection with. My name's Miles. <laughs> Perhaps I should use that clue. Uh, I'm an acquaintance of your apprentice. You say I have no connection with you, Miss Hart. But don't we have a mutual acquaintance with your ap apprentice? Oh, come on, break already. Oh, well, that's... Uh... I reckon it will be mighty cruel of me 
to give Nicole's friends the cold shoulder. Then why don't you share with us what you know? Well, when you put it like that, I guess I could let you in on my school. No, no, I ain't falling for your nasty tricks. No siree. Your school? Uh, no, ju just forget it. It ain't nothing important. Uh, you have a scoop? <laughs> this is the second one. I said, do you have a scooter? <laughs> uh, such a slip of the tongue. It's hardly becoming of a journalist. You have a scoop, don't you? Now, tell us what it is. Yes. Ah! All right, you got me. I had me a perfect scoop. But I ain't telling you what it is. I'm gonna sell the story to a publisher. The information she's hiding could be vital to the investigation. I need to make her talk. Next, I will press her on the contents of her scoop. Oh, man. Uh... She may be quick to lose her temper, but she's even quicker to loosen her tongue. Oh. Mm. <laughs> kind of weird. Sorry, I don't know why I'm, I'm over-sexualizing all of this. It just... <laughs> uh, mm. Eh, what? Nope. What? No, okay, no. Nope, I, I really can't say this one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. She's... <laughs> Episodes all over the damn place. <laughs> she, she is not a difficult opponent. <laughs> now, to extract the information I need, the only way oh, I um, know. Is what? it related to some sort of incident? <clears throat> does your story pertain to an incident of some kind? Well, maybe it does, and maybe it doesn't. That's hardly a clear answer. Why are you always hollering at me? I ain't done nothing wrong. I just snuck in to do some investigative reporting. Uh... You were trespassing, technically. You didn't do anything wrong. That's a bold statement. Considering you're currently trespassing on private property. Ooh. Hey, you're doing it too! Well, I, I guess a prosecutor's got the right to investigate wherever they please. <laughs> I probably shouldn't mention anything about the current state of my employment. Gumshoe comes in out of nowhere. Hey! Edward! F sir! You forgot your prosecutor's badge! I know you didn't mean to, like, quit being a prosecutor! Dad, my bad, you have. <laughs> I mean, Gumshoe. Uh, did you say I probably shouldn't? Yeah, I said all that. Oh, okay. They are far worse people in the world, you know? Mm -hmm. I reckon I'm a saint compared to folks who murder. Whoa! Murder? Is this scoop about a murder incident? Considering what you just mumbled, is it possible your scoop has something to do with a murder incident? <gasps> hey, I was only talking in general terms, you know? <laughs> I mean, anyone to look like a bag of roses compared to a murder, right? It sounds like you're just making excuses to me. All I did was gather info on the black market auction. A murder incident? I don't know anything about that. I ain't seen or heard nothing. I don't have enough clues to perceive this line of questioning. Uh, Maybe I should try another line of attack. Hmm. Okay. Crap, it's already... Um, are, did, are, did you fast forward? Fast forward? I mean, are you on the next thing, or did you... I clicked on it just so I can make sure the time doesn't go down. Okay, uh, is it related to the black market auction? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we still want to keep going then? Yeah, I guess. We'll just finish this line of questioning. Okay. Does this scoop of yours have something to do with the black market auction? What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about that. Weren't you in the middle of infiltrating the black market auction? <laughs> the only logical conclusion is that your story has something to do with it. You ain't getting any answers out of me for me. I didn't hear nothing. Hear nothing? Did you hear something from Miss Swift? 
Haven't you realized it yet? I have oh, no, no, not the right one. What are you yapping about? All you're doing is wasting my time. Oh, oh what, this remark. Oh, 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 no. oh, I have a sliver left. Me too. So we're gonna have to be really quick about this one. Ah! Uh, nope, that was it. Okay, I didn't make it. No. Okay, okay this would be a good time to stop. So. <laughs> yeah, we. we that's a lot of time it took. It, that's that's what got me the first time. It's like. That's like, oh, you're not, you're not, you're not finished. Like, they took off like half of my damn health. I'm like, oh, yeah. Whoops. Hey, uh oh. <laughs> All right. So I think this is a good place to stop. And the next episode, we'll uh, finish questioning her because she's hiding something for sure. Sounds good. So thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody.